Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, session. So today we'll be talking about how to create person records in the PBS Oracle applications R12. So to start with, this is our familiar navigator that we are all aware of. Now we go into people, enter and maintain. And here it shows you the find person. If you are looking for an employee, you can search on the find window. You can see different uh, types of person records, employee, contact, interns, associates, etc. And if you want to create a new one, you say new and you are ready to create. Now this would be created with today's date. Instead, what you do is you change the date and let's give it some history so that you can run processes in the backdated as well. So if I now go to the date is now set to 15th of March, start off. This is the only mandatory field. However, the, from the employee side, it might be mandatory, but screen side, but from the process side, there could be other ones, things like you need a payroll. If you plan to put the person on a payroll, address is mandatory, or the date of birth would be mandatory, and so on. Gender comes in automatically depending on the title. So if we had put this is the female comes in, and if I put Mr. Gender comes in as male. <clears throat> this is the employee number. So here you not uh, the person number screen. This is the place for the date of birth. So let's see. If you have any other information that you want to update, including the status, you can put it here. This is employment related information pertaining to the legislation in which you're creating the record. This is the place for the official email. So you can put like school.com. So the name of the person's organization, the official email, which will be linked with your workflow as well, so that the notifications will flow there. And uh, once you've entered all this information, medical benefits, and you're ready to save the record, you click on action here. See. So from the action, you can choose, if it is a contingent worker you're creating, choose create placement. If it is an employee, create employment. And if it is a applicant, then you choose create applicant. So the moment you choose um, create employment, system would present you with the person types that are linked to the employee system person type. So let's say every person starts as an intern, so that would be the person type. And then you save it. Okay. Now this is a note. So in case you have missed out, you can always go back and put it, but it's not an error. The next thing is the address. So you can choose to put in the address.
once you have entered the date, um, the address, you would save it. And you're done with creating the address for the person. The other thing is you need to enter the other pieces of information as required. Suppose you want to choose the picture of the person, then you can choose here from here. The picture would get uh, okay. if it is too big, you can always delete it and go back and choose your own uh, picture here. The next step is the assignment. I'll come back to this assignment, but before that, special information this is all additional information. Uh, special information is a uh, is a key flex field which we also called as personal analysis key flex field, where you can configure the segments as per your need. You can look at the video where we have for creating the different uh, segments, different SITs, you can enter the information. So let's say for award and honors, we have some information on this person. So. So the person joins and gets an award. So isn't that great? So you can say employee of the month. Okay. And you can give a reward value. How the reward is being given, maybe a gift certificate or a savings bond, dollar, $500. Save it. Similarly, any company property that has been given to the person, you can record that. What is the company property? Get it from the list. It's, it's an American card. It's worth $5,000 of credit. And here you can record multiple pieces of information, not only this, but additional information as well. So. Along with this, you can enter a whole lot of other information um, like competencies, contact, emergency contacts, contract, document of record, uh, medical assessments. If the person as part of the joining formalities underwent a medical test, that can be recorded here. Any phones, so the phone records, qualifications, previous in employment, work incidents, work preferences, all of that can be recorded here. So for now, I'll just go in and add the phone number. For 
contact these are like your emergency contact you can um, link an existing employee record as well to your um, person record as a contact so for that you will get the list of employees here and you can pull up a person and record that person as a contact so maybe the person is the father or the brother or the sister or the mother of the person so that relationship can be uh, quickly established here so that is one way you can link it and you can say what's the relationship and maybe you know cousin or you know spouse friend niece others let's say it's friend if they are uh, also beneficiaries or if they are dependent all that information can be maintained over here okay and then you can save it and in case you want to create a new record you can also do that so let's say i have another person and i want to say uh, maybe the mother will be the emergency contact so i can say hmm, what type of contact that can be established here and from the relationship you can say either mother or you can say emergency contact depending on the different relationship types that we are, you have to find in your lookups. So with this, you would have completed the basic details of the person.